Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Uh, once again, it's Viper Keeper here from the lair. Um, while I was away, the Bothrops Aatrox certainly one of the most lethal snakes in the room, uh, decided that uh, she was going to drop her babies. You know, there was no one here to act as a uh, midwife. Um, so some of the babies didn't make it. And there's a lot of uh, unfertilized embryos and such in the cage and it's stinky and they're decomposing. And it's uh, not terribly uh, a good thing. Um, gonna have to get the parents out first and sort of uh, address things as I go. This cage will have to be hoed out and cleaned along with all the other chaos that must ensue tonight. I just got back from uh, a trip for business and I've been away for a week and Bob's been on vacation for a week so everybody's been unattended without any uh, care. I gave everybody all, you know, filled their water bowls, wet them down as best I could. Um, but everybody's bone dry. And decomposed. Um, man, what a freaking mess. It looks like one of the Serasti Serastis died and decomposed. Uh, pretty nasty looking mess. So that's a second cage that will have to be cleaned and hoed out and stuff. Uh, just, a, just a freaking disaster when you go away. Um, Subsequently, um, you know, we got fun going on here. Hello. Uh, welcome to the world, uh, baby Arutu. Now I'll snag as many of the little beasties as I can. She had some big babies. These are bigger than the last bird that she had. This guy over here in the corner, he's a runt and he's all screwed up because he didn't, he wasn't moist enough for the first shed. Hey, you little toady, get in there. See these? These are pogo sticks with venom. They really, really are. And I guarantee you that that's a male. Oh, a surprise attack from the corner. Good for you. I don't really care if um, the exact numbers that survived. Hello, I see the boy. Okay. I think I've gotten all the babies that I can see, and I really can't poke around in there for certain until Mommy and Daddy are gone. <coughs> so, they need to come out right now. Nasty. Who's coming out first? Oh, that look. Uh, 
you are are beastie. Okay, that's Mama. Here's Daddy. My Daddy. Oh no 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 no! Not nah, when I'm down on my knees. Do we need uh, a bathrops dropping in on us? Okay, safe and secure. Now, let's uh, let's get some babies out of here. That's not gonna work. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Okay, uh, got a fresh water dish, fresh substrate, relatively clean enclosure. Time for the parental units to uh, uh, to go back in there. <laughs> well, they're eager to get out of there, that's for certain. All right, come on, guys. Ah, oh, look at these beauties. Look at these beauty. Yeah, I know, Mom, you're upset. Yeah, certainly one of the most beautiful bothrops. That chocolate brown color is just very nice. Come on. All right, Mom. Hey, that's good. Head right in the di correct direction. There you go. You're home. Go ahead. There you go. Here you go, bud. Don't let her bite you. That's not cooperative. That's not cooperative. There you go. There you go. It's not so Get in there. Come on. Come on. It's not so stinky anymore. Come on. Move your tail. There we go. Unfortunately. Saying, unfortunately, we lost a whole lot of babies. Well, at least, uh, at least as many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. Oh, you're a cranky beast. Hello, hello. You're cranky. You've got to be a girl. We know about girls. Hey, get back there. Hey. Get back there. Come on. You gotta be a boy. Come on. I don't want you on the dirty floor. Jeez. Okay. Just going. Just wanted to wet that one down that uh, hadn't shed. So now on to the next disaster. And here are the baby Arutus that were born this week. That one pointing upwards is a male. And he is a runner. And then we've got a cranky beast. Oh, come on. Oh, 
I'll we'll just uh, take to the air like this. Come here. Yeah, I don't need this sort of attitude first thing in the morning. And that one's a real cranky beast. Look at that. Ooh, I'm gonna bite you. That can only be a girl. Come on. You're really annoying the crap out of me. And that, that girl is going to bite you. <clears throat> Who's out for a little fun and games tonight? Actually, um, he's been very well behaved. And... Uh, and several opportunities where he could have bitten me, but uh, he didn't do that. He was just trying to get away. And since I've been force feeding them, you know, they're used to being touched and handled. So they're not overtly uh, uh, frightened by that. And um, he's just sort of chilling out because... Usually I don't have time, but I made a little bit tonight because his cage need to be cleaned uh, to take him out and work with him a little bit simply because, uh, you know, I don't have that opportunity all the time. You know, the only time he sees me come into his cage is to clean poop, give him water, or force feed him. And that's no relationship really to have. But you can see he's a pretty nice looking uh, young king. He'll, he's almost a yearling. And it was about the one year stage where Buzzard sort of took off on his own and started uh, eating on his own. Hopefully very soon these guys will because it's really a bother to, uh, to force feed them. It's no fun for me and no fun for them, and uh, I like to have a much better relationship. Let's see if, how he reacts to me touching him. There you go. That's a good guy. That's a good guy. All right, all right. All right, all right. Here's King Cobra Cam. Yeah, that's you, bud. That's you. <laughs> Always be careful. Whoa, we're going to do this again, huh? Whoa. 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 Isn't he handsome? Look at that. What a nice looking fellow. At least I think this is the fellow. Would you like to try a little drink, huh? Would you like to try a little drink, huh? Here. No? You don't like things stuck in your face, huh? Now, as long as you don't go running off, you can sit there. Okay, okay. Look, the camera is bowing to you. Yeah, that's my fingers touching you. Now, you don't think I would really stick my finger right in your nose like that, would you? Huh? I know, it's just my hand. All right, all right. Come on, come on. I'm not challenging you. I'm not challenging you. Hello? Hello? 
There you go. I'm not challenging you. You're okay. You're okay. No, we're not doing any challenging. We're just visiting. No problem. No problem. Only with the camera. That won't focus as usual. There we go. That's a little better. That's a little better. See, they're very curious on what's going on. And they look and they assess the situation and react accordingly. Oh, right. There you go. That's a good guy. You yeah, are not doing any rough stuff tonight. No force feeding. Okay, you want to go back in, huh? Alright, let's put you back in.